I haven't known of anyone personally who the Lord has revealed himself to, but I personally have had an angel revealed to me. What happened, I was like 13 or 14 years old. I'm in eighth grade. I ran away from home. I was all upset. I thought nobody loved me. I go to the woods. I go into the woods because the, the woods were by our house. There's a river, there's a highway, there's train tracks. I have my pillow in my backpack and I'm out in the woods 10 o'clock at night and I wrote a note and put it on my bed. I'm running away from home. Nobody loves me, right? So my sister, who is a year older than me in high school, my brother, who's a year younger than me, they run out to the woods trying to find me. And they're calling out my name. Mark, where are you? Mark, where are you? Well, I'm all upset and I'm laying down and I'm crying out to God. And I say, God, what should I do? Should I tell him where I am or should I not tell him where I am? And I'm just going to run away. So here I am and I'm crying out to God. What should I do? What should I do? And some of the police cars have these big like bullhorns. You can hear them real loud projecting the voice. And I heard this real loud voice saying, Mark, tell the kids where you are. And I thought it was the policeman out on the highway and I'm going to be in big trouble with the police now. And then I hear my brother and sister calling out my name, Mark, where are you? And I cry out to God again, God, what should I do? And I hear this loud booming voice, Mark, tell the kids where you are. And so I call out to my brother and my sister. They come running over to where I am. And I said, am I in trouble with the police or with dad? And they go, no, dad's at home. He's not out looking for you. And I said, well, didn't you hear that loud booming voice telling me to tell you where I am? No, we didn't hear anything. And then, it's, this is a small town. I mean, this town had only 800 people. Everybody knows everybody in a town of only 800 people. Out of nowhere, 10 o'clock at night, here comes this man walking toward us in the woods. And he comes up and he says, uh, can I be of any help here? And my sister says, no, my, my brother ran away from home, but he's decided to come back home. And the man said, well, that's good. That is where he belongs. He belongs home. And he walked off. We've never seen him before. We never saw him again. None of us knew who this guy was at 10 o'clock at night out in the woods in this small town. And we really believe he was an angel. I think one of the reasons why <clears throat> is God has a mission for me. I've almost died so many times. Like I said, I've had guns at my head twice. I've been in major car accidents. Uh, and a lot of these happened right after I got saved. Okay, I was raised a Catholic for 19 years, uh, and then I got saved, and the devil just tried to take me out. And I believe God has a calling on my life, and this, this blood moon thing could be very much part of it. Uh, so, uh, you know, I just believe God's protecting me. Like I said, uh, I believe God gives every single one that's watching this video a mission. And we have to find out what that mission is and uh, do it. Uh, sometimes it just happens indirectly because God's in control, uh, like it did with me so many times. But uh, that's what I think. I think it's just because God has a plan for all of our lives and we need to pick up.